There is a quiet crisis in data analytics. As the amount of data grows exponentially, the productivity of data analysts has fallen off the cliff. An increasingly large amount of valuable business information is captured in the form of non-flat data, such as JSON and XML. This data is acquired at significant cost, is vital for understanding the business, but is largely beyond the reach of data analysts. In 1970, EFCOD introduced the relational model of data that brought about a multi-billion dollar industry of SQL databases. This happened because SQL, structured query language, created a disruptive productivity jump in data management. With pre-relational systems, business users needed the help of programmers to perform data manipulation and create even simple business reports. Using SQL, thousands of business analysts and other non-programmers were empowered to assemble data and create reports and dashboards on their own. The main advantage of the relational model underlying SQL is what COD called Spartan simplicity. It forces data into the confines of simple tables and employs operations of relational algebra for producing new tables from the existing ones. This advantage turned into a critical shortcoming in the internet era, since businesses started generating massive amounts of non-flat data hard to manage using SQL. This gave rise to no SQL movement, which has produced a multitude of solutions employing proprietary data structures that offer greater flexibility than COD's relational model for handling of the non-flat data. However, these solutions suffer from several drawbacks, including the lack of a common NoSQL language and the lack of a solid mathematical basis and operational closure. Therefore, while being more efficient in supporting the business operations with non-flat data, NoSQL systems are not as friendly for use by non-programmers. We have gone full cycle, literally returning to the pre-relational age when business users needed assistance of programmers to perform analytical data processing functions. In lieu of programmers, businesses now depend on difficult-to-hire data scientists, supposed to have the technical skills for extracting information from complex NoSQL data. Instead of a business analyst using SQL, two people are needed a business analyst, and a data scientist proficient in Java, Scala, Python, and other programming languages to speak natively to NoSQL systems. Key SQL technology enables an order of magnitude productivity breakthrough in handling of non-flat data, comparable to the breakthrough achieved by COD's relational data model and SQL. To accomplish this, the bulk of NoSQL data must be made accessible to non-programmers using a still Spartan but more flexible and capacious data model. This model is paired with a next-generation SQL language that is easy to learn, yet fully expressive for handling both flat relational and non-flat NoSQL data. Key SQL data model is based on the mathematical structure of hereditarily finite sets. Data definition is performed using just a single construct called composition. It is the only one needed for producing new data objects from the existing ones. In this sense, it is even more Spartan than the relational model. At the same time, it is capacious enough to handle data of any complexity. Business users fluent in SQL can grasp the bulk of Key SQL in just a couple of days. Because of the hereditarily finite set foundation, KeySQL features a business-friendly, bottom-up data definition. It mirrors the way people think and organize information. For example, a child learns the concept of a chair and a table before developing the concept of furniture. The higher concepts in the semantic hierarchy derive their meaning from the lower concepts. In SQL, data definition is top-down. Columns exist only within the context of the higher object, the table. A column with the same name in another table can have a different meaning. The construct of composition allows to create data objects of virtually unlimited complexity. The flexible schema approach allows the data with different structures to be accessed with a single query. Complex business objects, which would correspond to one or more SQL tables, are treated on equal basis with the elementary objects and can be retrieved, updated, or deleted simply by using their names in the corresponding key SQL statements. Key SQL provides a powerful means for producing a new data structure from existing ones. These structural data transformations facilitate precise targeting for data of interest and shapes data into the most convenient form. In particular, KeySQL supports grouping of objects of any complexity by other objects.